Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That. Today I'm going to take a look at the two different Mega Constructs Evil Inn figures. The first figure came out with Wave 4 a while back. The second one came out more recently with the Pro Builders Wave. They're obviously different paint schemes, but let's take a look and see what are some of the other differences between the two Evil Inn action figures. I'm going to go ahead and start by opening this Wave 4 figure. This one is the paint scheme of the vintage figure from the 1980s. And this comes with a little booklet here that has the other figures available in this wave. Um, one of the other figures from this wave is Man at Arms. There's also Hellboy. This uh, particular Evil Inn was really difficult to find when it first came out because there were fewer of this figure in the packages than any of the other figures in the set. But recently they've started showing up at uh, the store Five Below, at least in the Atlanta area. And as you can see, this is a pretty good representation of Evil Inn from the original toy paint scheme from the 80s done as a Mega Constructs figure. Very cool. This version of Evil Inn comes with a three-piece stand here. Put that together real quick. And go ahead and stand her up. And it also comes with her staff, which is whoops, in several, ah, several parts there, bouncing out of the package. Just grab these other two pieces. Right here are the instructions to show you how this staff goes together. So we take the, the long piece and put this cone piece on top of that. Then the two silver pieces go on top of that. And the ball piece there on the top. And there you have, not quite focusing, the Evil Inn staff. So there we've got the first version of the figure that came out a little while ago that looks like the toy version from the 1980s. Okay, and now I'm going to open up the one that came out just recently with the Pro Builders wave of figures. And this one is a little bit different in a few ways. Again, the staff has to be put together, but the stand is all one piece. So there's no assembly required for her stand now. And it looks like this piece, this version of the figure also comes with the, uh, the little booklet that has the instructions for putting together the staff, all of the different pieces that, um, Evil Inn is made out of. And on the back, here are all Masters of the Universe characters in this wave. All five of these characters make up this set of Masters of the Universe Pro Builders. So I'll go ahead and put this staff together. Again, starting with the long piece and adding the cone on there first. These two pieces were already together in the package, so I just stick those on there. And then this ball there on top. And that is just what is shown. 
I guess this goes down a little further. That is what is shown in the uh, instructions here. So let's take a look at these two figures and see how they differ. Obviously, the, the color scheme is different. This is the color scheme from the Filmation cartoon. Go ahead and put her on her stand as well. But what I think is really interesting here, aside from the fact that I'm having trouble getting her to go on the stand, um, if you'll notice, the waist piece on the new version is just painted on, where the, the version from the original toy has much more detail molded into the piece. Now, I know the reason for this is the cartoon version was a much simpler design of the figure or of the character so that they could draw her more easily. But I think it's interesting to note that they actually use a completely different piece with this detailing painted on rather than uh, this version where the, the detail is actually molded onto the figure. Just a quick side note about the packaging. If you look closely at the waist piece in the uh, photo on the package, it has much more detail than the actual waist piece on the figure. This looks like one big solid chunk of paint that's actually not even painted that well. And here we have a very detailed piece with some thin lines, uh, giving it a little bit more definition than the actual toy. So I know that often packages are going to look nicer than the final product, but uh, that seems like a pretty significant difference to me. Another thing is, you'll notice her staff has more detail. Uh, the clear part of this ball has been painted, where here you've just got this, this little black piece. I prefer this one greatly to this new one. Um, and although I like the paint scheme for the, the Filmation cartoon version, I prefer this greatly to, to the simplified, just painted version here. Aside from that, the figures are pretty similar. Both of them have the, the shoulder pieces here. Um, it looks like the other molded parts are the same. Looks like they share the, the same head sculpt, the same body here, same arms, forearms, legs, and, and lower legs and feet. So I think the only difference in what's, what's molded on the figure itself seems to be just, just the waist piece here. But both of these particular figures look like they have pretty good paint jobs. Oh, don't want to zoom in too far and have it go out of focus. And uh, I think that they're both nice figures in their own right. Um, I prefer the color scheme for the Filmation version slightly over the original toy version, but I definitely prefer the waist piece for the original toy version from Wave 4 greatly over the, uh, the Filmation color scheme version that came out with the Pro Builder set. So there you have it. Two versions of Evil Lynn. One from the fourth wave of figures to come out, and one from the Pro Builder set. What do you think of the Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs figures? And which of these two Evil Inn figures do you prefer? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Also, please click like on this video, subscribe to my channel, share on social media, and if you are a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta one of the biggest toy shows in the southeastern United States, held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching. <music>